passing. No cryo, no passing. No cryo, no passing. Well, that was some away day last time, wasn't it? 1 0, absolute beauty against Watford from Josh Bowler. What an absolute curler that was. Class away day as well. And we're back finally at the Cardiff City Stadium in what seems like has been absolutely forever. But most importantly, the team news has come out. I would have picked this team aside from maybe one, two, one or two selections, two changes as well today. So Jack Anik and goal, NG Gutas, Nat Phillips making his Cardiff City debut, and then Collins at the back. Maka is unwell today, so he's not in the team and then a midfield trio of Wintle, Shoppis and David Turnbull as well making his home debut as well and then Colin Grant, Josh Bowler and Keon Atete probably his game to prove himself I imagine before he gets dropped for Jeju um, it finishing up the starting 11 and then on the bench Horvath makes his debut Romeo Wilson, Esbrand, Rolls, Ramsey returns as well at home Ruben Colwell, Tanner, Macy and Jeju coming up against Preston today this is a game where we can really prove ourselves whether we are going to push up the table. I'm not even saying playoffs because I think it is a little bit of a stretch at the moment. But we've got to get this momentum built up either way. And this is the game to do it, to be honest. It's going to be a lovely little test. And yeah, if we can get the Jets running, first of all, especially in the first half, like we did against Watford, where we slowly grew into that game, then I think we'll just about have it. But yeah, let's do it. Thoughts on today, then? Well, yeah, another tough match. It was a real tough game against Preston at their place. I think we won real late on in that one, wasn't it? Two um, injury time goals, if I can remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, very um, close. A real good win last week and uh, feel a little bit for Colwell. I think he should have started today. He's been brilliant recently and uh, we have. I know we got a lot of games coming up in the next few weeks, so uh, hopefully he'll uh, be in the starting lineup a bit more. You know, I think it's a little bit unfortunate to uh, be on the bench this afternoon, but looking forward to Nat Phillips starting in the centre of defence and Jeju, hopefully he'll come on at some point. You know, this, this is a difficult one to call really, isn't it? They could win, we could win, could end up in a draw, so yeah, we'll see what happens, but uh, just want a little bit of entertainment at home. It was really good last week at Watford, wasn't it? So hopefully that'll um, carry on today. Inside, what a joke! Hey, the swans, he slugs! They look at them to us, they must have been to it! They find a dead rat and they think it's a treat! Is that all you take away? It's terrible. Blow, oh, no, push it, come on! Whip her in! Waste. <laughs> Come on, Red. Well done. What a start this is in the book. Set it. The space. There we go. That time. Come on. Oh, corner ball. Come on. One more time, Josh. Go on. Lucky. It's better. Definitely a shirt pull there, but never mind. Turned into Ruddy Brack. Walked all over. Complete dross. We could have had 1 0 then as well. Absolute dross. We are hesitating so much going forwards. Yep, what a surprise. Well done, boys. Half asleep again. Shocking. Oh, my God. Mistake after mistake after mistake. It's painful. 
Come on. There we go, come on. There we go. Come on. Go on. Fair enough. Okay, so that's the end of the first half, and honestly, that was like grinding teeth. We started so well, and then all of a sudden, mistake number one, one nil down. Mistake number two, two nil down. I mean, first 20 minutes, really controlling the game. Then just give them everything. Honestly, like just, just no effort. Let's go running. I mean, I've seen OAPs with ailments put a better performance in a London marathon than this complete rubbish. Honestly. Like, Itete's been absolutely woeful, the mistakes have been ridiculous, Bowler started well, and then there's just been a mistake waiting to happen again. And honestly, we need to pull our finger out in the second half, because that was absolutely terrible. What do you think? I don't know, it was a, it was a good start, and we, we actually had about four or five shots. Yeah, really good first uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, I think it was just oh. mistakes losing the ball in their, their final third, and the, well, I don't know what the defence was doing, but we shouldn't have lost the ball that far at the, the field and then he broke the pace but uh, if I was Ruben Colwell I would be absolutely seething he'd rip this midfield apart and I'm hoping he's going to come on at half time it's got to be subs at half time turn, turn the game I think we'll have two or three at least two at half time bullet to bring on but uh, yeah if I was Colwell I would after the performances he's been putting recently I'd be seething Rambo's back thank god for that there we go, look at the effort there, well done. Come on, Rambo, chuck it in. Oh, what a ball. Oh my god, lucky. Oh, 10 out of 10, Tom Daly, that was shocking. God, literally every single pass we're making is so suspect. Oh my God! Here we go. Oh, lucky. Oh, so close. City! A save. Well done. Come on, pace it through. Come on. There we go. Get up. Get her. Time. Shocking. Shocking. Yeah, so yellow cards don't exist, do they, Ref? Some sh absolute joke. There we are. Cole coming on. Just a feeling is 70 minutes too late. Shocking. I mean, how empty this place is now just shows how bad the performance has been. Oh, another shot. Oh. Lucky, come on. Right, that's it. I've had enough. I'm off. Oh my god, I don't even know where to start with that. How can you regress that much within the space of a week on a performance? I mean, Colwell coming on, that was 70 minutes too late. And aside from that, it was just absolutely woeful. I mean, still no wins at home this calendar year either. We're knocking on to getting close to March soon. Absolutely ridiculous. What do you think? Yeah, well, it's not really panic stations, is it? But uh, yeah, it, it, to lose 2 The regression, honestly. Yeah, to lose 2-0 um, after last week is... It's bitterly disappointing, isn't it? But uh, looking at the stats, I just had a quick look at the stats. Cardiff had 10 shots, 5 on target, um, no goals. And Preston, 3 shots, 3 on target and scored 2 goals. And that's the difference, really. We had a couple of tricky wingers. We didn't really sort of impose ourselves on them, apart from the first 20 minutes, you could say. And... Uh, yeah, it's disappointing, isn't it, really? But uh, I think Bullock's got to find the right blend in midfield now. We've got six central midfielders. Ramsey coming back. He's a little bit he's a yard off, wasn't he? A little bit at time. So, Rawls on the bench as well. So, he's really got to look at that midfield. And uh, who's going to be starting? Because we need something settled in there. But... Looking forward to next week. Now, no, actually, we've got a game on Tuesday night away against West Brom. And uh, I think they got a draw, didn't they, against Ipswich? So that's going to be a very, very tough encounter. And hopefully, you'll get something for it. Because, uh, yeah, today, uh, good in parts and bitterly disappointing in others. Oh, absolutely, Seth. I mean, two difficult games coming up, obviously, in West Brom and Norwich. That's really going to, for me, it's going to tide our tell. 
uh, for what the rest of the season is going to be like, especially well, after today mid -table, as well. Mid-table. Yeah. Mid-table. It's, 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 it's kind of a, like a rebuilding and you've got to sort out is Bullock going to stay for next season or not? Because, well, he's saying things in the press, isn't he? But, well, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, two tough fixtures, and if we can get results out of them, and well, for, for me, my take of it is as long as we just absolutely cannot play the way that we did today, because it was an absolute joke. But aside from that, if you have enjoyed it, please remember to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, I'd be appreciated. Follow on social medias, like and follow all the football podcast on Spotify as well, and I'll see you all next time. Hoyle Valor.